Hi, I'm back again. Now, I'm going to be teaching you how to teach kids how to balance. This works especially well for primary 1 and primary 2 kids about balancing on different points of their body. Now, I would usually gather the pupils in front of me and I would tell them, Now kids, most of the time we are balancing on which part of our body? Hey, correct! It's the legs and the feet. Now, the human body is an amazing thing and we can actually balance on different parts of our body. Now, what other parts of our body can we balance on? Okay, I see your answer. What? Oh, a hand! Okay, thank you. Yeah, we can balance on our hands. What else can we balance on? Okay, that's a good idea. We can balance on your tummy, right? What else? Okay, you can balance on your back. Very possible. How about your arms? What other parts of your arms? Okay, uh, you can balance on your elbows. Elbows are a good way to balance yourself. And how about your legs? What part of your legs? I think I see an answer. A knee, correct. You can balance on your knee. Also, don't forget that you can balance on your butt. We balance on our butt all the time when we sit down. And of course for our feet, there are also two major parts to our feet. One would be our heel, okay? And of course, the other part would be our toes. So, there is such a thing as tiptoe uh, to which we can balance on. Now, what's going to happen is that I will instruct the kids to balance on different parts of their body and I'll call out. So let's say I use myself as an example and I'll use a whistle. So let's say I blow the whistle and then I will call out a part of the body. For example, one leg, one leg, one hand. And the list goes on. So now I'll be using myself as an example of how I would train the kids. So just read out the different parts of the body and the kids will follow you. They will definitely love a challenge and even if they're not sure, well, they can always check their friends. And usually, but usually most of the time, they will think by themselves. So let's carry on with the demonstration using myself as an example. Let's begin. One foot. One foot, one heel. Tiptoe. One tiptoe, one heel. One butt, one hand. So it looks like this. One butt, one hand. One back. It will look like this. Two elbows, two knees. It will look like this. Two hands, two knees. Two knees, one forehead. I can also say three points. One forehead, one hand, one knee. I can also say one hand, one knee. This is quite challenging. Can be done. Okay. And I can also say one butt, two heels. This is easy. One butt, two heels. One butt. Like that. Two heels, two hands. Two heels, one hand. One heel, one hand. Can be done. And the list goes on. So as you can see, for this activity, there are many, many ways you can combine it. It's all up to your imagination. And this works very well for all the levels, especially primary 1 and 2. Because in your English lessons, they are learning about different parts of their body, so you can integrate this with English as well. So, the basic idea is, get kids to listen, and call out the different body parts, and they will try their best to balance on the body parts that you have called out. It can be one point, like one foot, or two points, like one foot, one hand, or even three, or even four. That is totally up to your imagination, but please, before you call out the combination, make sure it can be done because there are some impossible combinations like one heel, one forehead. That is impossible. So other than that, this activity is pretty useful and the kids will enjoy it. Okay, that is all. Thank you.
Now I'm going to be teaching you how to do the shoulder.